Why are hormones important for good sleep? How hormones help us sleep? Hormones are chemicals that have the strongest effect on our physiological balance. They don't come to mind when we want to have a good night's sleep. However, they continue their work while we are asleep, making an effort to rest and prepare for the next day by sleeping well, the stress and rush we experience during the day makes us physically and psychologically tired. The biggest reason for this is the changes in our hormone levels. Getting ready for such a tough day is a good night's sleep. However, good sleep is a relative concept. It varies according to age, age and gender. Understanding the link between hormones and sleep is the most important step in achieving good sleep. What is a hormone? Hormones are actually chemical messages that spread through our circulatory system and cause changes in organs and cells. For example, the hormone adrenaline is a type of hormone secreted by the adrenal glands and prepares our body for dangers with the fight or flight response. Of course, by causing some changes in our physiological balance. In addition to dangerous situations, hormones have a lot of work to do during growth, development, reproduction, metabolism and energy balance. Hormones affect our sleep through stress level. Since some hormones, such as adrenaline, prepare us for stressful situations, we perform activities that provide relaxation before going to sleep. Otherwise, it would be even more difficult to sleep. When stress is prolonged, adrenocorticotropic hormone triggers the release of cortisone and cortisol hormones secreted from the adrenal glands. People who have sleep problems, for example, insomnia patients, have higher adrenocorticotropic hormone levels than those who sleep well. In addition, the high cortisol levels of professional athletes throughout the day cause them to have trouble sleeping. Hormones secreted during sleep support our immune system and make us hungry. We can name sleep as a process in which many chemical messages are released into our bloodstream. One of them is growth hormone. However, it is secreted not only in children but also in adults, and its purpose in adults is to contribute to tissue repair. During sleep, our appetite is also regulated by secreting the hormones ghrelin and leptin. If we sleep less than normal, we feel the need to eat more because these hormones cannot be regulated. In addition, insulin and cortisol hormones are among the leading players in appetite regulation. Thanks to these two, we start the day hungry and start the new stress-filled day with a nice breakfast. When we sleep less than necessary, the hormone prolactin can be pushed out of order, and when our sleep disorder continues, our immune system begins to fail. If we leave the long-term effect aside, the reason for our lack of concentration and carbohydrate cravings during the day is due to the lack of this helpful chemical, aldosterone and antidiuretic hormone levels are also included in the change in hormone regulation during sleep. Especially thanks to the antidiuretic hormone, our need to go to the toilet at night decreases. The reason why children miss below a certain age is that this hormone has not reached a sufficient level yet. Hormones also regulate our sleep-wake cycle. Hormones also regulate our sleep-wake cycle. The hormone melatonin begins to be secreted in the dark and gives the body the time to sleep message. This is why we don't fall asleep easily under bright lights. It is also an explanation of why night workers have trouble sleeping during the day. Even if there is artificial melatonin, its misuse can ruin your day. Therefore, it is useful to use it with the advice of a doctor, of course, this applies to all drugs. While the hormone cortisol is at its lowest level at night, it increases as time passes and reaches its highest level just before waking up. This is the wake-up signal given to our body. It takes time to adjust the sleep-wake pattern on long trips. It is normal for us to feel hungry at unrelated times of the day due to the rising cortisol. Sex hormones also affect our sleep. The relationship between sleep and hormones in women is also affected by the menstrual cycle. The hormone progesterone, which falls just before the onset of the period, also reduces the duration of the REM phase during sleep. In addition, in some health problems, the level of melatonin decreases and sleep problems begin to appear. Hormone imbalance during pregnancy can cause sleep problems. Especially in the first trimester, the increased progesterone level can cause feeling sleepy even during the day. In addition, decreases in estrogen levels during menopause can bring insomnia. The reason for this is that due to the decrease in the level of this hormone, 
the body temperature becomes more unbalanced than normal and the adrenaline level increases. For men, whose cycle is still a matter of debate, the key hormone is testosterone. This hormone reaches its highest level in the first three hours of sleep. Low levels of testosterone at night can cause sleep problems, faster aging and psychological problems. However, these problems can be overcome by taking testosterone pills. Finally, oxytocin and cortisol hormone levels during sleep can also change the content of our dreams. What we need to do to get a good sleep is to help our veteran hormones. For example, trying to reduce the stress we have before going to sleep, and if we can't do that, seek medical help. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.